So I have here with me today the Lamy Safari uh, fountain pen, and this is the extra fine. And this one is in red, which happens to be uh, probably my favorite color. And I have this here Pentalit sketchbook that I'm going to be doing this doodle in. And um, to get started, I don't really have anything planned to talk to talk about or even to draw. So what I'm going to do is just ramble on about the first thing that comes to my mind, um, whatever that is. And uh, you might be wondering what this scratch is on, on my hand. I don't know what that was from. Um, I just woke up one day and there were some scratches on my hand and I don't know how it happened or what it was from or anything. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and just make our first line on the paper. Um, I don't know where to start out with, uh, so I'm going to just go ahead and uh, make a line anywhere on this piece of paper. Do you think I should start here in the left, the top right corner, the bottom right corner, or the top left? I think, uh, hmm, I think for this doodle, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to start in the top left because that will be the easiest um, in case my hand smudges some of the ink or something like that. But um, how's, how's your day going? My, my day is okay so far. I had to go pay rent and uh, I made some coffee this morning. And then that's pretty much been my day so far. And then... I made a video and then now here I am drawing and uh, I'm going to just talk about completely random stuff, whatever comes to my mind. Okay, what is something I could talk about? Something I could just ramble on about? Um, okay, one thing I have noticed is that when it comes to my ability to remember things or to learn something, it sort of feels like it takes me a long time to process information, to retain all the information. If it sort of feels like my brain is some sort of hard drive that has limited memory. And when I try to learn something new, it feels as if I have to replace what I've learned with that. Like I'll just completely randomly forget stuff that I already know, or things that I've done pretty much my entire life. The other day, I had to write a check, and... I think I've always known how to write a check, but I just completely randomly forgot how to do that. And I was sitting there, I'm like, why, why did I forget? How did I forget how to write a check? That This doesn't even make any sense to me. And it's like waking up one day and not remembering how to tie your shoes, which has actually happened to me a couple of times. I don't know how or why that is. Um... But I had to write a check and I, I just completely forgot. And then I went online and looked it up. And I'm like, oh, now I remember. And it was so simple. It didn't even make any sense to me. Um, whenever I try to learn something new, it feels like I have to replace other memories or things that I've learned or things that I know with this new thing that I'm trying to learn. And... It's not just things that I don't have interest in. They can be things that I've always had interest in, and like drawing. I've always liked drawing, and I will just completely randomly forget how to make a certain line or to uh, how to draw something. And um, I don't know why that is. I'm not quite sure. And I'm thinking, I think I might actually put this to time lapse.
I just had to push the button on it. I think it's doing both. Let me check. Yeah. I have my camcorder set to time lapse now while it's also recording in real time. I should have just done that at the beginning. Oh well. Anyways, um, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yes, um, I, I feel like I have to replace what I've learned. Like I had to I had to replace old memories with something new that I learned. For example, if I want to learn how to draw something new, I have to randomly forget something in my life, like a memory of something that happened when I was younger, um, what I did yesterday, and I don't I don't know why this is. Um, I was editing video last week or a couple of days ago, and I forgot how to add to the um, audio in the timeline, how to link my microphone to it. And I've been doing that for like five years now. Every time I make a video and I just completely forgot how to do it. So I had to go online, look it up and figure it out. And then I'm like, oh, why did I, why did I forget this? Um, and back when I was in elementary, well, this was more so middle school and high school, but I could study something all the time. I studied every day, all day, every day, and I would just forget what I was learning. And when I tried to learn something new, I, I would just forget other things. Like if I tried to learn something in my math class, I would start forgetting everything that I was learning in my English class. Um, that was one thing I didn't like about when we had like the, the block schedule to where you had, uh, four classes in one semester, I would just fail all the classes. But if I just had one class, I might be able to pass it. Um, I still had issues with it then. But um, I don't know. It's, sometimes I feel like maybe there is just something wrong with me. You know, like, why can't I remember things very well? Um, like, even some people that tell me they don't have very good memory or that they forget things easily or they have trouble like, trying to learn something. And uh, to me, they seem like geniuses or something. Like, I don't know how they remember all, everything. Um, I, I just mean, I, I just keep drawing and making doodles. And, and uh, that's what I like to do. But the only problem is sometimes I just forget things. Like with the video editing or the audio editing. And I'm like, why am I forgetting this? I try to learn more things with uh, making video. And then I forget more stuff with how to make audio. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know why that is. Um... Yeah, I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, well, anyways, must not have been important at all. But, uh, this kind of look, looks like another one of my usual organic doodles with clouds and stuff. Um, nothing much different in this doodle. Uh, but yeah, I had coffee today, and then I had some breakfast. And now I'm just making this doodle. That's really been my day so far. I think pretty much all I do is work, eat, draw. That's really all I have time for now. Um, I guess that happens when you're an adult. You know, just work. And eat and sleep. Sometimes it feels like I just work so that I can pay rent and then... Like, I might as well at this point just hand over my income directly to rent and everything, and then just, I don't know, maybe I can, sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm living at work, because I'm there so much sometimes, but, uh, 
yeah. I think in these clouds I'm just going to make some kind of like stipple lines or um, I don't even know what to call them. I guess these this is stippling, but the other ones are kind of just like hatch lines I'm making on it. But yeah. Does that ever happen to you? You just, just completely randomly forget things that you've known your whole life or things that you should know how to do? I don't know. It doesn't really make sense to me. I don't know why that happens. Um, is there like a reason for it? Because I take care of my health, I exercise, I eat well, um, getting all my vitamins and nutrients and everything. Um, I keep my stress down, I meditate, and all that stuff. Um, it doesn't quite make sense because I will see people that they don't eat very good food and they're very stressed and they don't get enough sleep or anything and yet they all seem fine like they just remember stuff I know that if you don't get enough good sleep then it's going to make it more difficult to remember things or to learn something new but I'm doing all those things and I feel like I'm having Difficult time trying to keep up with all of it. I don't know anymore at this point. I just make lines and work and pay bills and eat and sleep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not really sure where this doodle is going so far, but, um, I mean, well, it's not really literally going anywhere it's just sitting here and it, it, it's on the sketchbook what if it didn't go up and leave like you make a drawing and it does go somewhere and you look over and your drawings on the wall and like how did that get there like the ink itself gets up walks away goes onto your wall and, you, and you're really confused i don't know i don't know what i'm talking about i'm just making stuff up at this point so I'm trying to be focused on making the doodles and making the crisp lines. But I'm here to try to make this video somewhat entertaining. Uh, you know, and as far as my views I get on my videos, I have some that I have a lot of views on um, that have a lot of views. Like I have, a, I have one that's got almost 60,000 views on it. And I have a lot of videos that have like 30 views. And I'm trying to figure out why that is. Maybe it's a thumbnail. Uh, maybe it's the drawing. Maybe it's because I was using my DSLR. I don't know what it is. But um, some of them just have a lot of views. And other ones have hardly any views. And I try to take the advice of you should use tags and do this and that um, your videos will do so much better than this advice and that advice and this and that and do all these things and all be better and good um, and I've done all that and it hasn't made a difference at all really uh, it's just kind of luck it's like chance just luck that that video gets a lot of views I have some videos that I didn't even try I didn't put any effort in it's like this one has 20,000 views and the other ones I spend two weeks on editing and making the video, and then it gets a lot of views. And then at that point, I'm just thinking, well, why spend two weeks on a video and it gets 50 views while another one's got like 20,000 and I spent two hours on it, that's it, for the entire video, to draw it and to edit and upload it. So then I started making a lot of videos that I didn't really put much time into. I wasn't too worried about the audio or the video quality or any of that stuff. I just uh, threw a video together, uploaded it, and there it is. And then suddenly, 25 views is all it gets. I don't know. Some people have asked me why. Uh, why does the views matter? I mean, there's uh, like ad revenue and everything you get on here. I think it would be nice one day as if. I just made all of my income from drawing and no longer had to have like a nine to five job anymore. I just make doodles all day. Um, I'm working on it. That's the goal. That would be nice. Just wake up in the morning. You don't have to worry about anything. Just make a cup of coffee or maybe you're someone who likes orange juice. 
or maybe a glass of milk. Uh, just wake up in the morning, start doodling, and not have to have all these other things that you gotta be worried about. You know? I feel like I'm the type of person that, and I know that I am the type of person that I care more about doing things in life that I enjoy or that I like doing even if I have less money than if I'm doing things I just don't enjoy but I have a lot of money. I value my time and, and uh, doing hobbies and interests and things that I like far more than um, just, just being really rich. Well, I guess unless you won the lottery or something then well, you really probably wouldn't have to work anymore. I mean you would still work unless you had a hobby that was like work. I mean, and that's the thing, if I could have my hobby be my job, it wouldn't even feel like work, it would just, I'd have so much more time, because now it sort of feels like so much of my thinking I have to put into work, and then I have less energy, or it's like that, I have, how do I put it, I, I have less energy and thinking power left. To be as creative. I mean, that's with anything. I mean, if, if you wanted to be a, um, let's say you want to be a football player or a basketball player, you would do far better if you just did one of them and you would get better at doing one of them than if you were to do both because your energy is cut in half. So you'd have to work much harder for both of those. Does that make any sense? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? I don't even know where I got that thing from. Are you putting down what I'm picking up? What if, what if I was wonking and the thing I was putting down was ink pens? Would you pick them up? If somebody was walking down the street and they were just putting ink pens down everywhere like some kind of trail of ink pens and at the end of it is a giant ink bottle I don't know that would be kind of strange I don't think that would make any sense I would be a bit suspicious of that would you? hmm I'm recording this on my DSLR and a camcorder and my DSLR, it can only record, I think, 29 minutes and 29 seconds at a time. So when it gets to 29 minutes, you might see where the video kind of like cuts to a different uh, point, sort of. That's because I turned the DSLR off and uh, I had to... Turn it back on. You know, there's something about this fountain pen that it just seems to work really well in the pentalon sketchbooks. I don't know what it is, but um, it's it's sort of like a scratchy feeling, but it gives me like a, that kinetic or that physical feedback when I'm drawing that makes it more enjoyable when I'm drawing lines. Kind of like if you are drawing with a Sharpie and the sound and feeling that it makes when you're drawing with a fine point Sharpie. Or it could even be a large Sharpie. The feeling that you get when it goes across the paper is just awesome. Um, that's kind of how it feels when I draw with this pen on the, this pentallic sketchbook paper. <sighs> Do you ever feel like you have so many things in your mind? that you want to talk about or ideas that you want to get out but you there's like, like multiple things you want to say at once but you can't say all of them all at once so then it kind of gets jumbled together you ever been talking and you're gonna say something and you're thinking of like 10 different things at once and uh, 
you'll mix up a word. I think we've all done that maybe at some point. Um, maybe I'm the exception. Maybe I'm the strange one here. Kind of like with my memory and learning things. It doesn't make any sense. I feel like I learn things really, like, I wouldn't say I learn them well, but I learn them faster than anything else is if I'm doing something that's sort of hands-on. Like, if somebody tells me how to do something, I will forget it very easily. But if I actually do something myself, then I will learn it a lot faster. I feel that I have better long-term memory than I have short-term working memory. Like, I remember things from 10 years ago in better detail than what I, I did 10 minutes ago. Like, I forget what I was even talking about 10 minutes ago. I know I was talking something about memory, but I, I, I wouldn't know. Like, I can make these videos and upload it, and I forget what I've even talked about. I mean, I could have videos to where I could have maybe 50 in a row where I've, I've said the same thing. I, I wouldn't know. I'd have to go back and listen to the video, but I don't, I don't really have the time. I mean, I do have the time, but if I did that, it would take away time I have making more content or more drawings. Um, so, yeah. I don't have quite as much time as I used to have. Because I work more now, as I said. But, um... I'm trying to get there. Hmm. I think I'm going to start on this side and work my way over. Uh, hmm. What do you think? I think I'm going to start over here and make some more lines here. In this little area. Um, oh, another, another thing that's random. Is for the videos that I make, um, I look back in a couple of them and I'm like, wow, I think that video is pretty cool. And there's a lot of editing and everything involved in it. But, I mean, I want to make videos that I like to make, but I still want to make them interesting. But it is kind of is discouraging sometimes when I spend weeks working on a video and it gets basically no views at all, hardly. And then another one I just don't even try and upload and it's like 5,000 views. Like what? I don't know, what am I doing wrong? Are my videos boring? Or are they interesting? Are they helpful? I noticed that most of my videos that do well as far as like watch time and all that's like pen reviews and drawing tutorials, but what I like doing the most more than anything is listening to music or a podcast while I'm drawing. I feel like it just takes so much brain power to try to draw and talk at the same time. Um, the one thing I can never understand is how people are able to sleep with a fan running or a TV on. I just can't sleep if there's any sound. It distracts me. And I start thinking about stuff and then I and then I can't fall asleep. And then for a note I'm laying there and I'm supposed to have gotten eight hours of sleep, but five hours has passed by and I've randomly thought about completely random things in such detail that uh, just going through random thoughts in my mind. Like, you know, when you're laying in bed at night and it's like, oh, well, maybe this could happen tomorrow. What's going to happen? If, you know, am I going to work? Or is this person going to think of this thing? Or something like that. That's going to be said. And they, they might think this about me. And blah, blah, blah. And what if I get called in to work early? Or what if my alarm doesn't go off? And I, but then maybe that can just be anxiety. But even when I'm not stressed, there's not really anything on my mind that sometimes that happens. But if I just draw all day and I've used all of my mental energy on drawing and I don't have any, any any energy left to think about anything, then I don't have any issue falling asleep. I just go right to bed. And then, yeah. I think, like, when I do a lot of drawings at the point where I just do it 
the entire day. It consumes all of my time. The first thing I will think about when I wake up is when I'm like thinking of what to draw. It's like one continuous thought from when I wake up to when I go to bed. And I don't have dreams. I don't really remember ever having a dream my entire life, which I, I think that's another topic for maybe another time where I could talk about it now if you want me to. Um, that I, I think is kind of strange is that I don't have dreams. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe it has something to do with, maybe I don't get good enough sleep. What is that thing people have? Oh, is it sleep apnea or something where, like, they don't get enough oxygen or something when they're sleeping? I don't know. I, I don't have that problem. I don't, I don't snore or anything when I sleep. Um, uh, but yeah, as, as far as, um, people having a fan running, uh, while they, uh, sleep, like it helps them fall asleep. It doesn't work for me. That's one issue I have in the summer if it's really hot outside and it's so hot in the bedroom that I can't fall asleep because when it's really warm out, it makes me feel hyper and kind of energetic. So then I can't fall asleep. So if I open my window or turn the fan on, the sound of everything outside and keeps me awake and the sound of the fan just keeps me up and I can't fall asleep. You know, I was supposed to have done an apartment tour. Is it tour or tour? I don't know. Anyways, um, I was supposed to have done that by now at this point, but I haven't. And the reason being was, I, I have a confession, I guess. I wanted my apartment to be more clean before I do that. But because of working so much and all the stuff and paperwork I had to do with work, uh, I didn't have the time. So every time I thought about doing it, it was like, well, I can make my whole apartment just spotless and clean. But I have this paperwork and stuff I have to take care of. And, and then once I get all the cleaning done and everything, I'm not going to have time to make any food, really. I'll, I'll have just enough time to make some food and then to go to bed. I won't have time to actually make a video. So by the time I get to the point where I need to make a video again, my apartment's kind of dirty. Well, not like a complete mess but it's not something i'd want to put on a video and by then i have to start all over again and then I, after that I, I just completely forget about it and i never get around to doing it so maybe one of these these days i'll um, get around to doing that before i ever move again or something but i've been living here now for uh it's been half a year already so yeah it's went by pretty quick Six months already. The last place I didn't realize I lived there for five years. It didn't seem like that long. It didn't. So, and I've been asked before um, about my you know, the job that I do. Like, why don't you uh, like sell your art? Like, why don't you? Like, I've been trying to do that. I have. Uh, a couple of sites that I put some of my doodles on, and uh, I've only sold like maybe a couple of prints and everything. I've got thousands of drawings I have to uh, scan and uh, upload at some point, but um, there's just so many of them that I have to do. The point that uh, it's going to take me a very long time to upload all of them. And I've only got so much time every day. I've only got so much time to work and uh, draw videos and upload videos and edit and do all this stuff. Um, there's way more of this than I thought there was going to be, really. But um, I like making things and drawing and making these doodles. Uh, so, yeah. I wish there was some way to where... Um, maybe there is. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't know about this. As if... Uh, Instead of having to scan my drawing, so if I could just take a photo of it and it would like my phone, and it would just automatically edit that to where it's in a high resolution that could just be printed out. Um, 
but it, I guess the problem with that is the drawing wouldn't be flat. If you took the picture at a slight angle or something, it wouldn't be um, a flat surface, so the angle and everything would be off a little bit. And then if you printed it out, it would be all weird shaped and everything. So yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel like there's not enough time in the day to do everything that I want to do, or to get everything done that I want to get done. You know, like, I'll work, and then I come home, and it's like, okay, I have this much time left, you know, I've, I've got you know, three hours, or four hours, at most, to eat. Well, first, I've got to change and everything, and then take a shower, make food, eat, uh, paying bills need to be paid. Uh, go buy some food if I need to buy any. Um, look at any paperwork that I need to take care of or whatever else is about work. And then after I do all that, I've got maybe an hour left to draw and edit video and everything. And then I, I just don't really have much time left. Um, that's one reason why I haven't had as much time in the past year um, with my videos and drawing and everything. But now at this point, I'm just, uh, after that or my days off when I'm not working, I just um, draw the entire day. I don't really do much of anything else. And I feel like if I'm not doing something productive, I kind of feel like I'm just... I don't know. I, I feel like I have to be productive at all times at whatever I'm doing. Even if I'm just relaxing, I want to try to do something productive. I want to um, draw, or at least if I'm not recording myself drawing, I want to uh, practice drawing to get better at it. So yeah. So what type of coffee do you drink? The the coffee I, I drank today was uh I don't remember what it was even called. It was some uh coffee that was it was it was it wasn't like a really cheap brand, but it was, I guess it was a kind of a middle of the road brand. It was kind of average price. But I had that because the coffee that I do have is coffee beans that I have to grind up. And there wasn't much left in this coffee can, so I wanted to get it all used up, and so I don't have much of it left to use up, and uh, <clears throat> I had that. And there was all kinds of different types of coffee that's out there, but they all don't really taste that much different to me. They all kind of taste slim similar, like there's some that... Um, Tastes like a darker roast and other ones that are like light. I think light roast coffee is just so plain. It tastes like water to me almost. Um, and did you know that medium and light roast coffee actually has more caffeine in it than dark roast coffee? I know there's supposed to be like some scientific reason for that. You know? It's kind of like if you have food, and let's say you have food that you cook well done, or you cook it not burnt, but like you cook it extra well, whatever that is. You're cooking more of the vitamins and nutrients and protein and everything out of it. Maybe it's kind of like that with coffee, I think. I'm pretty sure. Probably something to do with chemical reactions and all that stuff. Um, but yeah. More tentacle looking weird things here. I was making a video one time, I was talking and drawing at the same time, and I was so focused on the drawing, I forgot to talk for 15 or 20 minutes. And then I looked up the camera, and I'm like, oh, I'm recording something right now. And uh, the point of it was to talk during it. And uh, I guess I had completely forgotten that. Have to stretch. Oh, uh. yeah. When I do have coffee in the morning, I feel like I can think faster. 
Um, but it's like all this information is coming into my brain. It's like it just kind of goes in there, then disappears into the emptiness of, of wherever. Um, I feel like the way I draw is more, um, is the word subconscious. Like, I'm not really consciously thinking about it much. Like, when I am drawing to draw certain lines, I have to consciously think about it. And then after I've done that pattern repetitively, I don't have to think about it anymore. And that's kind of how I learn to do or to draw. I don't really think about it too much. I just start making things, start making lines. When in doubt, put a line by another line or scribble something uh, in any direction. Um, and we get worried about, you know, got to make it look this way. It, it has to look this way. But you don't have to show your drawings to anybody. That's the, the cool thing about it. Nobody has to ever see the drawing. You could just hide it forever. You could you could do a drawing and throw it away. Like put it in a paper shredder. No one would even know. Unless there's some kind of expert and like yeah, taped and glued all the pieces of paper together and one day came up to you and said, Look at this drawing that you made. I can't believe you created this. That's pretty unlikely to happen. Uh maybe in another universe. Like this here, I don't I don't know what I was gonna where I was gonna go with this, but I'm just drawing uh, a line by a line because I wasn't sure where to go with it, and now I'm just making wavy line by a wavy line, and I'm going to continue that pattern throughout the rest of this doodle here in the side until I get all the way down to the end and fill up this area because I did not know where to put those lines. But that's the secret between me and you. You just can't tell nobody. Don't tell anybody. Didn't know where to put those lines. It has to be a secret between us. Okay. I feel like driving is that way sometimes. Like I'll drive somewhere. and it, Like when you first start driving. You have to think about it. Like. Oh I'm, I'm pushing the gas pedal. Now I got to push the brake. I don't want to use my gas pedal and brake at the same time. I don't want to use both legs for driving. I just want to use one, just one, one foot for driving. Um, this is my turn signal. This is the uh, windshield wipers. This is reverse and this is park. And then you start driving a long time and then you don't really have to think about it anymore. You're just kind of like, okay, turn signals on, windshield wipers on. Unless you get in a different car, uh, <laughs> there was a couple times I was driving a car that was different, and it was weird because I don't know how it happened or what happened, but I thought it was the turn signal. Like I don't know, it, I thought it was a turn signal, but I I I I pushed on the little lever in the vehicle. Which was the same one in the same location as the one in my car. But when I pushed it, it turned on the windshield wipers and the water started spraying. I'm like, what's going on? It was on the other one. It was like the opposite. It made no sense. That's like if you were driving and every time you pushed... Like, what if you were driving every time you pushed on uh, your brakes, your, your uh, car or truck honked? It's kind of... How I felt, I was like, what's going on? What's going on here? Uh, so of like this drawing, what is going on here? What is this stuff? Is this tentacles? Is it under the ocean? Why do I feel like I'm drawing the same thing over and over again? Maybe I should draw something different. Maybe they don't want to see these doodles. Maybe these drawings just are not good enough. I need to make something different, something that is epic. Something that they'll all want to see. And then I spent a month working on that drawing, editing, uploading, and gets zero views. Well, I mean, it gets 20, but I'm like, well, I didn't really have fun making that drawing, and it was a lot of work, and I had no views, and so what is the point of drawing? The point of drawing is to enjoy it, or to uh, get better. And if I'm not enjoying it, and I'm not getting better, it has no views, what was the point? 
What is the point? What is even the point of this video? Hmm. I feel like I want to add something different in this drawing. Somewhere over here, maybe? I'm not sure. We'll see when we get there. At this point. You know, another thing too with the drawing for me is that I feel like the harder I try, I don't really improve as much as if I just draw every day. If I just mindlessly draw, it's like it's ingrained into my um, muscle memory. But if I try to actually think about what I'm drawing, I don't remember it. It's like, it's like my hand has a brain of its own that can draw things that I don't have to think about. Like this here. I'm not even really thinking about it. I don't, I'm not thinking about the, these lines that I'm making at all. Uh, I'm not thinking about the structure of it, um, the shape, where the lines are going, the, the form, the contrast. I'm just making some lines, putting them down, seeing what happens, and uh, yeah. And then after I've made these lines, I can I can stop for a moment, look at it, and kind of, um, you know, like, oh, hey, maybe I should add something over here and make this like that. Kind of like this section here. This is kind of an empty spot. It runs up through there. And this looks like something with, like, topography looking down the mountain, maybe. I don't know. Like, if I step back and look at it after I've made it, then I might be able to see that. But as I'm drawing it, I'm not really thinking about much of it, really. Like, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know if anything I ever say in any of these videos makes any sense. I don't even remember most of what I've said. As I've said before, uh, I probably have said the same thing in many videos over and over 15,000 times, and I don't remember it. So when I think of a new topic I want to talk about for a video, I'm like, have I talked about this before? And there have been times I've done drawings, and I really thought that... The video that I was editing was a drawing I've already done before because it looked so similar to something else I'd created that I did think that it was the same video. I'm like, wait a second. I feel like I'm, ta I'm, I'm talking about the same topic and I'm doing the same doodle. I don't know. Doesn't make any sense to me. How much coffee do you drink a day? And how much, how much is a cup of coffee? Is it measured in the amount, like the measurement, is six fluid ounces or eight fluid ounces, or is it an actual cup? As in, if you have, like an actual cup of coffee, like a mug, is that considered one cup of coffee? Or is, um, a cup of coffee six or eight ounces? I don't know. Uh, I, I tried to look it up online, and I was confused because I had contradicting answers. It said, one cup is six ounces. And I went to another site, and it says, one cup is eight ounces. And I went to another one, and it says, one cup is a cup. It's not. My God, I don't even know at this point. They're giving me too many answers to, to, to the same question. Um, yeah. I think I need more contrast in this. I need to make more dark areas in the center. That's what I feel like doing. I think I might add uh, the Sharpie in for that. I did that in the last doodle before this. Here we, here we This is what we're going to do. We're going to do like this. These little, these little weird cloud structures. What is talking? It feels so tiring when I tr try to talk and draw at the same time. I feel like my brain is on overload or something. Um... But I can sit here and draw for 12 hours. And by the end of it, I feel like I have more energy than if I talk and draw for one or two hours. I think I've only been doing this for, what, 45 minutes? No. Something like that. Like, there's some of those podcasts out that people have that are, uh, like, eight hours long. And, um... Oh, man. I, I wouldn't even... I think if I was to make an eight-hour podcast, would I even be able to remember what I was even talking about? In a, like, that long of a time? Would I even... Like... How would I do that? Like, 
even in this video, I've probably forgotten about 90% of what I've even said. And if I was to do that for eight hours, I might end up just talking about the same 15 minute topic over and over again. Like if it was 10 hours, let's say it's five hours long and I talk about the same topic every 30 minutes over and over because I forgot what I was talking about. I would have one topic and I would just talk about that uh, 10 times, right? But if you watch 30 minutes of it and then you don't come back to watch it for a couple of months, then maybe you'll forget about it and you'll watch the rest of it. Maybe that's the secret. Maybe that is the secret to getting more watch time on videos. Just talk about the same thing for 10 hours in a row. And then uh, break that up into like 50 videos. I have actually seen people do that where they'll have like a, a stream and they'll uh, cut out sections of the stream of things they were talking about in that and make each of those into a video. I mean, I could do that, but then I guess I'd have to uh, be a full time doodler. I would not have to do my 9 to 5. I just have to draw all day. I did create on my channel um, this membership thing where like you can pay monthly. I think it's uh, uh, 99 cents, $4.99, cents, and $9.99 cents to where you can get like special access to videos on my channel of like things that I post or content that I make it. And now it it won't really be, a f it will have no effect really on uh, the current videos I have. Because what I selected would be like early access to uh, a new video upload that's like members only or um, replying to comments first to people that are members. I, I still have to set it up and I have to make some introduction video or something. It, it's something that I never even knew about. Um, maybe. Maybe that'll work and I'll be able to just draw all day, you know, but anyways, um, I got most of that set up and I still have to like, there's like little emojis and badges and icons you can make. I, I guess I'd have to design all those myself. Um, I'll have to figure something out for that. But, um, I made the, uh, cost, the membership's pretty cheap. Like the ones only 99 cents a month. The other ones, that's pretty much a dollar, five dollars, and then ten dollars, just three different options. And like you get early access and stuff. But um, I'm, I'm still in the process of getting that all worked out and figured out how, uh, what videos I want to make. I just know I wanted to create that because, um, I, pretty, I think I only, I get like maybe ten dollars a month in added revenue. That's I, I pretty much don't make much of anything right now. Um, I mean, it, it costs me more per month in electricity to run these cameras in my computer than what I even make from ad revenue. And I think it used to actually be a lot more, but now it's, what doesn't make any sense to me I'm trying to figure out is my ad revenue keeps going down, even though my watch time and views and everything keep going up. My subscriber count keeps going up. I think back um, like a year ago, I have, I was at 1,500 subscribers, and now I'm at 3,000. I have twice as many subscribers, and more watch time, and more views, and more videos, but my ad revenue keeps being cut in half. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but... um. It would be nice one day as if I could just doodle all day, every day. I could just make content for all of you. And uh, the only thing I'd have to worry about or really think about much is just making drawings and doodles. And I could get better at it because I wouldn't have to spend you know, over 90% of my brain power. It's my job. Um, I think that would be nice. Maybe one day. I mean, I've been working on that now for the past... Uh, entire life, like pretty much my entire life. I've 
been trying to make something out of my art, you know? Like, I make stuff with it, but you know what I mean, like, success with it. But it depends on what you mean by success. For some people, success with art could be they just get better at it. Were they able to draw portraits? For others, it could be their income come from drawing. Maybe they have a college degree in art. Um, for other people, success might be, um, you know, being famous. Or for another person, it could be rich person, you know. But for me, um, success at art would just be, at this point, because I'm di in different phases of it, of what my goals are because it always slightly changes depending on what I'm doing like right now because of you know the regular nine to five job my goal is to just you know make a living from drawing and maybe that could replace that and in the future if um and I think I can it is it is going to take a long time and uh maybe in the future I can get to where you know, my goals will be different because instead of um just trying to make a living from drawing the goal would be to you know have a hundred thousand subscribers or a million or to be able to draw a certain way or to you know, do more pen reviews whatever that may be it could be anything you know um the, the goals always change depending on what you're doing it's kind of like if you, if you have a job that you're working at and you move up position let's say at the job you're just um a new employee at the lowest position as far as in the company and then, um, after a while, you move up positions and uh, your goals change. Whereas your goal, just as regular employees, to just show up to work on time and uh, maybe learn a couple things here and there that's new. But then as you move up in position, you have uh, more responsibilities and things that you have to do and be responsible for. And so your goals change. Um, but maybe you know, there's probably people out there that have a regular 9 to 5 job and that's what they love doing. Um, but I know for a lot of people it's just something that pays the bills. You know, like everything keeps getting expensive, I think. that I feel like I keep having to work more and more. But I keep having less free time. Yeah. Uh, hopefully I don't ever have to work like a hundred hours a week just to pay my rent and buy food. Yeah. Would I even have time to draw then? Maybe if there was like a self-driving car and I could just draw, like draw while I'm on my way to work. You know, that that, is, that would be a good idea. What if? One day there is self-driving cars, and those of us that like to draw, instead of having to waste, you know, that like 30 minutes or hour or however long it is, two, it could be two hours. Maybe your drive to work is an hour both ways. You, you could have two hours extra every day that you could spend drawing. Rather than just sitting there uh, zoned out, staring, just staring off into uh, the road, um, mindlessly just... Like when I drive, I drive places and I forget that I even drove there sometimes. It's like automatic. I don't know. Some things don't make sense. Or the same goes as some people say. I can't afford to make sense. I don't make that much money. I think some of the things that we have today, like in the future, we'll look back on it like, that doesn't even make any sense. This is weird. Why do people talk like that? It's kind of like when we look back at people that, uh, you know, uh, what they wore in like the 1600s or the 1500s, is, it seemed kind of strange. It's like, why are they wearing that many layers of clothes when it's 100 degrees out? You know? No. Oh. It's all strange. Right now I'm drawing with the sharp and it's making uh, that satisfying sound. I think we all know what that is. Why does that sound so satisfying? But yet the sound of chalk on a chalkboard. Why, why is the sound of chalk on a chalkboard? Why does it sound so irritating? Well, a sharpie. 
so satisfying to draw with. Right now I'm thinking about how, after I finish this drawing, um, I think uh, I want to get more videos done and more drawings, but I'm hungry. Doesn't that ever feel like an inconvenience to you? That you have to stop to eat or to sleep? Just think of how much time is spent and wasted every day just going to bed or eating. Like I, could, I could use all that time to draw, or to get better at drawing, or to, uh, I don't know, maybe watch a movie. I don't, I don't think, I don't think I've even watched a movie in like 10 years. I think I've watched a, a couple of documentaries since then, maybe. But, um, yeah, uh, just so much, just think that's like eight hours every night that you just sit there. Um... And for me, I don't even have dreams, so it's just like eight hours that's spent just for me to sleep. What do you think it would be like? I mean, how... Well, I don't think... Well, it probably wouldn't work because of the way our bodies are, but um, as if days were 70... Like, 48 hours is 72 hours long instead of 24. Um, If... The sun, like the rotation of the earth was different and days were 48 hours or 72 hours long. So two or three days long instead of uh, 24 hours. It's not actually exactly 24 hours. There's just a slight difference. And that's why we have daylight savings and all that stuff. But um, anyways, uh, if days were two or three days long instead of one, I think like our internal clocks. Or, uh, what's that? Cardiac, cardiac, something rhythm. It, it's it's the thing that's called for uh for your sleep cycle. Would it? It would probably just change, right? Our bodies would just um maybe we'd have two sleep cycles. Like we would have one eight hour sleep cycle and then another eight hour sleep cycle. If days were two days long. Like you would sleep and at night and then part of that day, which would be like two days, you would sleep another eight hours, like maybe in sort of the middle of the day. I think that if we had to, um, or we had the ability to, uh, Like have days that were two or three days long. Would that mean our jobs would have to work like... If, it, if we had a day that was 72 hours long, we would have jobs that are 48 hours long a day. But what if instead you could just draw for 48 of those 72 hours? And you did not have to sleep. Do you think it would ever be possible some way that um, we could not have to sleep anymore? Just like you could choose whether or not you wanted to sleep. You had that as an option. Would people even want to uh, have the option of not sleeping? I mean, uh, if you just never really got tired. Will I give you a lot of anxiety? I don't know, but um... Do you think there would be some possible way to where the brain could just recover without ever having to sleep so you could always be more productive at all times? I think if that did happen, the expectations of how much your job would want you to get done or the expectations of uh, achieving things would probably just increase to where now, you know, the, the rule being 10,000 hours to uh, master something, it uh, would become uh, something to where you would uh, 
it would be 30,000 hours to where you're considered mastering whatever that is. It could be drawing or you know, writing or music or whatever else. But yeah. <clears throat> I think we're getting there. The drawing is coming together. I did add some areas that was darker in the middle. Now I just have to go through and add these kind of like stipply looking line things or whatever. Sometimes when I'm, I'm doing a drawing, I just want to get the drawing done because I want to work on another drawing. I've got another idea and it feels like, what is that? Like, it's that feeling you get a restless leg syndrome. I kind of feel that in my, like in my brain whenever I want to get a drawing finished. And I know all I have to do is add these little lines here and there. I don't have that much more to add to it. I just want to get the drawing done so I can move on to another doodle. Um, but sometimes you just gotta take your time and make those lines. Doodle, stipple, dot. And make these rhymes. I think at this point I've lost my mind. Doodle and drawing, I find the time. I don't know what I was talking about. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, anyways, about sleep. Uh, yeah, I don't ever have dreams. So for me, when I, um, go to sleep, it's like eight hours just disappear from my life that I'm never going to get it back again. I think it would be nice if I didn't have to sleep. You know, I, I know a lot of people that say they enjoy sleeping, but, like, you're not conscious to remember that you were sleeping, I mean, unless you're having dreams, which I guess that's the difference for me. Um, but, uh, yeah. Are you drawing? Are you making doodles and lines? Maybe you're just listening and drawing along, or maybe you're, uh, watching and drawing. I know there's some people that watch my videos and they don't even draw. And there's some people that just listen to my videos while they're doodling. That's okay, you can do either. You might be driving in your car and listening to this. You could be listening to it 10 years from now, 100 years from now. You could be from another dimension or an alien that's uh, listening to this. Hmm. Just a couple billion more lines, it feels like, until this doodle is complete. How about we'll get there? Uh, what does this even look like to you? Looks like some clouds underneath the ocean. Something like that. Have you ever gone a couple days without shaving your beard? And you look in the mirror and it makes it, sometimes you feel like you're 20 years older when you look in the mirror. That happened to me last week. I, um, my beard grew out a little bit and I had a lot of stubble. And I looked in the mirror and I looked like, I, I felt like I looked like I was 40. It's like, well. And then I, I completely shaved my entire beard and everything and then I, I felt like I looked like I was 20. Weird how that happens. Hmm. What could I talk about? What could I say that would be interesting if anybody's even listening at this point? I don't know. When people actually listen to this all the way through at this point, this long, for like an hour, pretty much now, or almost an hour, I don't know how long it's been. A minute ago, I had to, had to check it because I didn't know what was going on. Uh, my camcorder on my computer, it showed that it was recording one second, but I looked at it and it was uh, a lot longer than that. So I won't know until I, ed I edit this and try to upload it. If it actually recorded that part, um, but we'll see. Uh, hmm. Just 
Strange. Strange, strange. I do have to uh, maybe get another hard drive or something because all of my hard drives are pretty much full. I think I have 10 terabytes of hard drive memory and they're all just about full. Um, I've got, at this point on my YouTube channel, uh, I've uploaded, it says on there I've uploaded just over a thousand videos. But when I go to my home page and I click on it, it says I've uploaded like 985 or 990. I don't know. It's giving me two different answers. But I know it's been pretty much a thousand videos that I've edited and uploaded to this channel now. And I have thousands of drawings that I have a time last recorded that I still have to edit and upload. It, it does take longer a lot of times to edit the video and upload it. Then at time the the time it takes for me to even do a drawing. Yeah. Maybe I could just pay someone to do that, but I that's gonna be that's too expensive. I mean I'm only making ten dollars a month from this right now. I mean that's enough to pay someone what, like five minutes of video editing? If that. And I I kinda want my videos made a certain way like I want to make them. Like, the entire process of my videos and the drawing and everything, from start to finish, I want that to be my product or my creativity. I want it to all be what I created. I feel like if I had somebody editing my videos, I wouldn't feel as creative. I would feel like it would take the fun out of it, you know? The, or the joy of the achievement of making the videos, I wouldn't feel as accomplished. You know, it's like if I make a video and edit that and upload it, it's like, hey, yeah, all that, that was me. The audio, the video, the rambling, the doodles, all that, I created all that. So, but yeah, um, hmm. I think I want to add more over here on this little, this little thing, whatever this is. They call them stagmites. There's, I don't remember the name of them. I can never remember the name of these. It's gonna darken this side of it. Add some contrast. I, I do notice that if, if I only make a doodle lines, like I don't cross hatch over and stuff. It's kind of like just lines that you use for a coloring book. This seems too flat, you know, I gotta add some more depth to it. Throw in that sharpie and fill in some areas. I wonder how many people out there, just in this, this genius level people and artists, and yet nobody has any idea who they are. Not saying that I am, I mean, I have no idea. I mean, like, I... I have people tell me that my drawings are amazing. Like, you're one of the best artists I've ever seen. But I don't know if they're just saying that to be nice or if they really mean that. I mean, I don't know. You know, sometimes people can be nice and tell you that your drawing or it's good. And they could just be a family member or a friend or somebody trying to be nice. And it's hard to tell if they're actually being honest or they're just trying to encourage you so that you don't give up a drawing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, th I think, I don't know, I think I'm at least halfway decent at drawing. I'm not no Michelangelo, or, uh, yeah, Michelangelo, Hieronymus Ba, Leonardo, is it Da Vinci or Da Vinci? I can't remember. Uh, but, um, yeah. Maybe in 10,000 years I can I can get that good. I think the days, of, each day would have to be uh, a year long, and then maybe in 10 years I would be able to do that stuff. Maybe. But didn't they use, I think it was um, eggs, or like egg yolk or something like that, to um, make those paintings? Like the... What was it called? Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it. It was, uh... Mm, I almost
almost remember it, but I can't remember it. It was some type of painting they did that had like mixed egg yolk or something in with the paint. Uh, it's there. It's somewhere in my brain, somewhere in my memory. It's there, but I, I can't find the word. It's like I can visually see it in my head. I know what it is, but for some reason I don't know the word. It's kind of like if you were to look at the window, look out the window, and you see a bird or a flower, and you see the image, but you don't know the word for it. I don't know, it's, it's kind of what I'm feeling, feeling right now with this. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, I think it'd take a long time. But um, as I said, I, I think I do okay at drawing, but I do want to keep getting better. Um, I've, I've had some people tell me, like, how are you not making a living from this? Your drawings are so amazing. You should be like a famous millionaire artist that makes a living from it. Um, I don't know. M maybe I am really that good and I don't know it. Uh, and no one just, nobody knows of me yet. Or maybe I'm actually just really bad at drawing. What if the entire time I've been bad at drawing and everybody's just being nice to me? I used to wonder that. Sometimes I still wonder that every once in a while. Like, am I really that good? Am I really, uh, really all that good at making doodles? Or am I, uh, not really that great? But I like drawing. I like making my word doodles. You know, I have no idea what most of them are. Like, I have no idea what any of this is. I really don't. I feel like my drawings are more detailed when I don't talk and draw at the same time. Like, I can really focus, but I kind of want to make some videos where I talk about things and ramble on. Because if I make a video where I ramble about stuff over a video that I already recorded, like, let's say it's a one hour drawing and, um, I separately record myself talking about something for an hour, then I have spent two hours, well, one hour doing the drawing and another separate hour talking about stuff. Now, if I talk while doing the drawing, I can do both in one hour. I can get twice as many drawings done. I can get better twice as fast, right? Is that how that works? Or maybe I'm getting... What if I'm doing both at the same time and I'm actually getting 50% better at each one rather than 100% better? Would it be better if I do one at a time and get 100% better at 50% the speed or get 50% better at twice the speed? I mean, wouldn't that mathematically be the same? I don't know. I don't know. I feel this drawing is almost done. Um, I don't really have much more to add to it. Uh, maybe a couple little stipples and dots here and there. But, um, we're almost done. And I don't remember how long I've been recording this. It's had to have been over an hour, um, that I've talked and rambled on about stuff. Um, I think I'm going to add this to that series of, like, I don't know, some podcast thing I have on my channel. I'll have to look in there. I have... I have a bunch of different categories, like I have podcasts, um, speeches, time lapse, drawing tutorials, and roaching isograph, and fountain pens. I think this would be under um, fountain pen, uh, speeches, podcast. I'll probably just add it under one. And I still have to sort and organize all of them because I've got a whole bunch of different um, playlist categories on my channel that um, I need to bit more organized kind of like all the videos I have on my computer that I have to edit there I did have them organized by uh, like one's camcorder one's DSLR and have them organized by year so each folder has a year and then each year has a folder for the month and I have two separate hard drives one is for DSLR one is for camcorder and then I have one hard drive that's edited video and then one that is unedited video and then I have a completely separate folder that is for audio only. It, it's all full. I've run out of space pretty much. So I might have to get another hard drive. But I don't, I haven't looked at prices of hard drives. I would imagine they're probably really expensive now. Maybe I should have bought them all back when, uh, 
they were cheaper. But, I mean, technology advances, so you end up actually paying less in the future for um, more hard drive space. I don't know, we'll see. I'm not really sure. I feel like, you know, at this point with this doodle, I feel like I can continue adding more, but it mostly feels done. Um, plus, I'm getting hungry. I mean, I could just stop the video here and go eat and then come back and finish the doodle. But I feel like it's mostly done. I can't really think of much else I want to add to it because I feel like sometimes you start adding too many things to the drawing. It's, it's, you lose you lose what you're trying to do with the doodle. Sometimes too many details can actually be bad. Sometimes the best approach is to make your doodle more simplistic. Like there's one line type of uh, drawings that people do that they make. It's like uh, line art. The one line drawing thing, whatever. Anyways, I think this doodle is done. I don't really have anything else to add to it. And uh, but I still have a bunch of things I can ramble on and talk about. But I'm going to go eat some food. I'm going to uh, go prepare, re-energize and recharge for more doodles. But um, for now, you'll have a good day. Um, stopping by, sitting down and um, drawing with me or listening or just watching or both or all of the above. But um, I'm going to go eat, work on some more doodles. And you all have a good day. And uh, comment below. Let me know what you think of this strange doodle. And um, a real time drawing videos that I make. Which I will be adding to a playlist. So um, yeah. I've already got a playlist of that. I just have to add this to it. But anyways. I will see you all later. And um, have fun doodling. So yeah. I don't know what I'm going to eat. I don't feel like making spaghetti. Again I need to make something else. Anyways. I'll see you all later. You have a good day.